how I long to remember those bright days of yore With sweetly with joy I beguile The friends that frequented my own cabin floor And the comrades I loved as a child How I long for to roam the Mount Massey's green groves Or to poach by the light of the moon that spot of my birth, there is no place on earth like Mount Massey, the flower of McCrew. Hello, I'm John Lyons um, and I'm secretary of McCroom Tidy Towns. But this year, because the judges are not coming to McCroom, we have to impress them in any way we can. And this short 10 minute video uh, we'll support our submission in the Tidy Towns competition for 2021. And um, I'll hand you over now to our chairman, Martin Coughlin, and he will say a few words. Thank you. My name is Martin Coughlin, and I'm chairman of the Macroom Tidy Towns Association for the last 40 years. I'm also chairman of the Macroom Municipal District for this 12 months, and I am delighted to be able to report the progress that we have made in the town of Macroom over the last number of years. The long-awaited bypass is in full swing and hopefully this will be opened the back end of 2023 and then we the people of McCroom will be able to get our town back and hopefully uh, lots of projects that we did think about over the last 20 30 years that we will be, now be able to bring them into, in, in, into the council and be, uh, between us we hopefully will be able to Enhanced the town of McCroom um, over the last number of years. That was an impossibility with swirling traffic going through on a continuous basis. So now at least we'll be able to hopefully pedestrianise some of the town and make it more friendly to the people of McCroom and to our visitors. There's, at the moment there are housing developments taking part in the town of McCroom. Uh, private development in Meadowlands, uh, something in the region of 160 houses and we are all, uh, which is nearing completion and we are also uh, building 80 social and affordable houses uh, on the Mystery Road and the Oakwood Street, uh, the Oakwood Estate and Cox Street. There's also a new garage and retail outlet being opened in the Mystery Road, uh, on the Mystery Road approach. There's a big extension of the hospital at the moment and it's progressing well and uh, it will now be a fitting place for the senior citizens of, uh, and the sick of McCroom. The, sound t the town centre has been a, a focused on over the past year. The town hall has had a facelift and is looking very well. Also seating in the town square has been refurbished and the cobblestones in front of the castle gate entrance were repainted. Some bollards and railings were also painted and uh, our hanging basket features were painted and they all know look very well in this, uh, the, uh, the town centre. Murals have been another feature in recent years and the last year various local actors came together and gave up their time and expertise freely to transform Leary's Lane between the main street and the mart. The latest addition inspired by Covid was the erection of two canopies for outdoor dining in the square and middle square and these are being used uh, continuously uh, it is lovely to see people sitting out and enjoying a coffee and a bit of a laugh especially in these times of covid when when it is very important that uh, people have some outlet to socialize and this can be done very safely in the canopies which are which just have a roof and um, the open air is flowing through on a continuous basis and the seats are well distanced. There's a lot of new seats being erected at the moment and McCroom is blessed to have so many natural amenities so close to the town centre. The riverside walks, the castle domain and the town park etc. We have added seven new seats and more up on order. They are very colourful and practical and made from recycled plastic. We have further offers of sponsorship this year. One of our biggest tasks is to manage the grass cutting in the residential areas. There are over 20 estates in the town of McCroom 
and you approximately in between the estates you have at least 15 acres of grass which needs to be managed on a continuous basis. We do this with the help of the council and through an RSS scheme which we manage through the tiny towns. The sweet summertime when the season was fine. Now here we are in the fairy garden and um, we started this two years ago and um, Michael brought me in there and uh, showed me around and that was the start of it. Um, the locality don't, a lot of people in the locality didn't know this area was here. So um, as you can see, um, there's a beautiful garden now and it's beautiful and peaceful. Volunteers have put long hours um, into this area and um, people come from all over to visit. Um, children have great fun here. Hundreds of people have attended um, the opening here last September, uh, two years ago. Families come here um, on picnics, for birthdays and even communions. Um, if you notice around the place, there's lots of artwork and murals and they're all done by local artists. We've had a fundraiser to get the shed built as we've had no storage area. So this is used for paints tools and items for the park. Some of the seats and tables are made from recycled plastic materials. Most of these seats have been sponsored by locals. The area gets flooded a couple of times every year because we are near the river. So we've had to change some things. Most of the items have to be concreted down as the flood would take them otherwise. As you can see from our Facebook page, we have thousands of followers, even some from abroad. And we did a brochure and circulated this to every house in town. Plenty of seating around the place, which some was being sponsored by the people of McCroom, and more had been fundraised, including picnic tables. We also have a village of Massetown in McCroom which is the shops, pubs and everything which are being shown is our wish after actually is the post office <laughs> we have a wishing well which is a great attraction for kids they're always looking for money after memory to throw into it what fun would be there at the game in the tidy towns too we work with many different organizations and groups and this work continues to change one group in particular that we work closely with is the men's shed there's now a major emphasis on sustainability and conservation of resources. That means reducing, reusing, recycling, repairing, and the men's shed do all of these. In McCroom too, we have a lot of second-hand shops and repair shops around the town, so we have opportunities to reuse and to repair. Our entry in the Tidy Towns competition must also now show how our work is aligned with that of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. That's a new departure. Biodiversity is another area that is focused on. This includes wildlife and natural amenities. Last year, 2020, we released 50 young mallard duck into the river near the town, near the town bridge. Now, most of these moved downstream further on into the Lee Valley Reservoir area, but some were seen back again uh, a few months ago in the same area where they were released. We've also been working with IRD Duhallow. We have nesting boxes made up and bought for barn owls. We also have nesting boxes for the swifts. And we erected a swift tower on the Mart property last year, which was the first in the county. And on top of here we have 28 nesting sites, but the sparrows took over about seven of these sites. The men's shed also make bird boxes and bat boxes for sale to the public. When it comes to the planting of trees, we focus on native trees, particularly those that are good for pollinators. And we reduce and are replacing some evergreen conifers. We have developed a biodiversity garden and put labelled on all of the trees in this area. This is more an educational project down near the fairy garden. We have plans to upgrade the signage here as well as along by the riverside and also to put up information boards and we've just got funding from the neighbourhoods scheme for this. There's now a pollinator plan after being developed by the council ecologist and we are in discussions with the council on this and this is going to guide our work in the next uh, few years in this whole area. Um, one aim as part of all this is to get people and to get the local residents groups etc to realize that maybe we shouldn't be cutting all the grass on such a regular basis as this is not sustainable we want to consider how these areas can be managed for biodiversity 
So there's an education and appreciation yet to be carried out in this area. So that colourful weed that we look at might be looked at differently and it might be now looked at as a food source for the bees that provide us with the, the food. Another aspect uh, that we work on is sustainability of people's health and well-being. That's a category as well. The pandemic has highlighted the benefits of having such wonderful natural amenities in Macroom, the riverside walks, the castle domain area, the golf club area, the town park, the fairy garden, lots, lots of beautiful areas. And we have added to our sensory garden this year with features like a live willow tunnel, a colourful photographic display, a musical instrument, and we're working on more features in this area. We also have plans to upgrade a path down by the river, and thanks to the generosity of Sean and Maura McSweeney, they have allowed the proceeds of their recent book of photographs, Musgrave through the McSweeney lens, to go to us in the tidy towns for a particular project. Now, sadly, Maura has passed away, or Yeshte Goreva Anam but this will be a fitting tribute to her memory. Finally, one of the greatest achievements we have had in our 38 year history is the building of our new shed. We had to get planning, and we built this on a derelict site which we leased from the council, and it's now used for the storage of tools and equipment and providing a great meeting point for a chat and for work planning and for a bit of banter. And the cup on tea. Tomid er imel an gweiltacht an sha gweiltacht moscri Agus baile sherwishig e macrama de winter na gueltachta. Marshin bimid ag dain of Iraqt an gueltga a spraga savalla. A usad er na corhi agus rodi marshin. Our thanks to all of our volunteers and to those that are involved in the making of this video. How I long to remember those bright days of yore. With sweetly with joy I beguile The friends that frequented my own cabin floor And the comrades I loved as a child How I long for to roam down Mount Massey's green groves Or to poach by the light of the moon That spot of my birth, there is no place on earth like Mount Massey, the flower of Macroo.